Okay, we'll start the site plan review meeting for March 20th, 2018. In attendance today is uh, Chairman of the Board of Assessors, Dana Berenger-Forty, Chief James Guido, Code Consultant Pat DeMarco, Building Inspector Ben De Cristoforo, Frank Stringy, City Planner, Nick Rystrom, City Engineer, Donald Goodwin, Superintendent of Public Works, and Mark Locke, Plumbing Inspector. First item on the agenda is 49, Revere Beach Boulevard. <laughs> Not here yet. Okay. Let's skip 49. Uh, they're waiting for their plans to come. What's the second item on the agenda, Mike? Five Washington Ave. Five Washington Ave. Have a seat. Thank you. Gentlemen, good morning. How are you all doing? Hey. Uh, All right, what do you have for us today? Mostly, um, it's a property that is actually for sale, and I just wanted to know a little bit more about the zoning and possibilities for uh, the land and the building. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I do have um, some schematics on what I was hoping to do, but uh, it's up to you guys, I guess. Yeah, the zoning for that. <clears throat> All right, it, it's zoned general business. What are you proposing for the property? Well, right, right now there's a there's a building on it that's about twelve thousand, no, twelve hundred and fifty square footage. It's a dog. It's a dog grooming business. Yeah. So what I'm thinking about is um, adding to the side of it um, maybe uh, another section because I guess they do have a, a lease that is. Another four years, so I cannot really take them out if I do buy the business or the building. Um, so by putting next to it um, a garage, uh, it's a dead end street. You see, yeah. So <coughs> would, it's a grooming business. I would actually have to because they, they do have a lease, and if I do break the lease, I would actually have to um, pay them. So, so what use are you proposing this? Right? So right now there's um, uh, this is Washington Street on yeah. this side, and this is the grooming business right yep. here. So I would actually utilize the same side of the building and put a, a garage, uh, a special garage. Um, I think that's what you have on your. Um, are you talking about? Auto repair. Auto repair. And, uh, repair. Auto body is a special. Yeah, that's not allowed in that district. Or. Uh, or a JB um, yeah. general business. Hmm. Commercial was... garage is by special permit. That's auto repair. But auto body repair is not allowed in the general business district. I was looking at your um, your um, the notes on the internet, and I guess it's one of them that it's listed as you could do on a general business area. And that's part of your uh, website. That's the only reason why I was actually um, interested. No, no. Special garage. JB? It's a, it's a no. I don't know what you were looking at, but it's, it's not allowed. Oh, okay. Okay, do you have any other questions? All right. Um, where is it? Um, okay, special permit. It's uh, HB and T. Come from the top, GB, follow it down to the special garage, and you'll see a no. Okay. No, I was actually looking for uh, uh, all the other zoning that it would be uh, allowed into. Um, because it's, it, it's not saying that on, on your website. I don't know why. Um, but that being said, um, okay, maybe okay. just a simple garage. Would that be possible? Pardon me? Maybe just a regular garage. Would That's that a be special possible? permit for the city council. Okay, but if I do buy the, uh, the property, can that be put on it? Uh, it's a special permit by the city council. It's a public hearing that has to be held, and, and the city council makes a final decision on it. Okay. 
All right. It's I not, guess I guess my uh, position right it's now. It's not guaranteed. Okay. So maybe um, my question would be, um, what comes first? Uh, because I think you guys are here to help me out to make the right decision on purchasing a building or uh, a land inside of your city. Um, well, this committee why? is not for that purpose. If you, you have to come to us with a plan. We can't tell you what to do in certain areas. I can tell you that in the Highway Business District, in the TED District, special permit is required for a uh, special garage. So you can look in those districts for available property, and then when you find something, come back to us with a proposed plan. Okay. I guess my question still stands. If I put a regular garage there, which is allowed in, in that zoning, uh, do I go to, um, to the hearing first, even before I even purchase the land? No, you come here first. That's why With I'm your here. plans. Okay. So when, I'm, when I come here with these plans, let's say, mm -hmm. and uh, you guys would decide, or would there be a hearing first? No, what we, would, we would review it for zoning compliance, and we would have to deny your plan because it's only allowed by special permit. So you would receive a, a zoning letter that states that a commercial garage is allowed by special permit in this district, and you take that letter to the city clerk and you file for a special permit. Okay. And she'll give you the application and set up the public hearing. Okay. But we need to see the plans, a mm -hmm. uh, certified plot plan, because if you put it adding on to the building, it's most likely it's a non-conforming lot, and there may be other permits that are required, variances. Okay. Okay? All right. So technically, you're saying that you would deny this. I'll come back with the plan. Um, <coughs> I go through through the board zoning board with you. Uh, um, I apply for variances. If that's okay, then I can go ahead on purchasing the land. Or do I purchase the land first? No, you would you would purchase the land contingent on contingent on you getting a special but that, permit. But that's okay. a contractual issue that you have to deal with between you and the and, and the owner. Okay. We don't we don't advise on on issues like that. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. And when you return here, we need a certified plot plan. This is not suitable. No, I know. Okay. That, that was just uh, okay. informative. Okay. All right. We're fortunate enough to be granted a special permit. Would you be putting uh, infrastructure in there, water and sewer, the bathrooms and showers or things of that nature? Um, maybe in the future. But right about now, all, all it needs is, uh, would be um, sewer and, and water. Okay. Uh, just we just relied all that in there, correct? Mm -hmm. all right. All right. A, we, we just relied uh, the infrastructure in that area, so there's a special uh, connection that, that needs to be made before you, know, you can just hire a, um, a drain layer and have that done. So you need to contact my office if you are fortunate enough to be granted a special permit, and we'll advise you as to how to uh, <coughs> tap into the to the line sewer line. Okay. The water hasn't changed. It's still, it's still the same. Okay. Okay. All right. What else can I put on this land if I were to buy it? Sure, there's a number of uses. You, you'd have to do your own uh, homework and look in the use table. Uh, the only reason why I'm saying that is because when I did my homework, it's stipulated that I could put this on it. However, you just mentioned that it's not because according to your to this um, documentation, which is not on the internet, which I think you guys should review a little bit. Um, well, I'm not, I'm not quite sure even, where you went, but the, the, the ordinances are online and the use table is online. I should have come up with a printout of it. Um, okay. All right. Okay. Then I, okay. I think it's All right. Good luck. Let's take up 90 Ocean Avenue. Site plan for 90 Ocean Avenue by Rick Zell for new construction. A 75 unit apartment
Rick, when you make your presentation, just press the uh, button on that mic. And you can use that. Just close to it. Good. Absolutely. Yes. All right, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, for the record, Rick Salvo with Engineering Alliance uh, here this evening on behalf of this afternoon, on behalf of 90 Ocean Ave um, LLC. Uh, also with me is uh, the architect, uh, Lafreniere Architects, um, who also participate in the presentation and answer any questions that you have. Um, since we were last before this board, we've been to the Board of Appeals, um, received relief to allow a 75 unit building with 75 parking spaces. Um, the variance is attached um, to, um, to your um, packet there. Um, in addition, uh, we held a public hearing uh, with the Conservation Commission, um, and it was reviewed by both the Conservation Commission and the DEP, um, and received uh, in order of conditions. So just to uh, remind you of the, of the property, um, the property is located on Ocean Ave, uh, right here, it's the former site of the lion's den. It's a parcel of land that's about 36,380 square feet. The building has um, since been demolished. <coughs> um, if you look at the proposal, um, the proposal is to construct a building footprint of 13,590 square feet. It's um, one uh, level of parking underneath the building as well as surface parking um, with five stories of wood frame um, construction um, above it. I'll let the, the architects get into the unit mixes and the unit counts themselves. Um, access to the site uh, will be via two curb cuts. Folks will pull into the site, have the opportunity to drive underneath the building for the access the interior parking, drive on the back for the exterior parking, and loop around in a one-way circulation for an exit-only driveway um, over on this side. Uh, dimensionally, uh, the building meets all the zoning criteria in terms of height, front yard setback, rear yard setback, lot coverage, FAR, um, et cetera. Um, as I said, we did go before uh, the Conservation Commission. Um, stormwater um, is handled by capturing stormwater flows in the rear surface area as well as the rear portion of the roof, um, captured by a series of deep sump catch basins, ported outlets which connect to a water quality inlet to a subsurface system that's been sized to handle the 100-year storm. Um, the front of the building has a pervious paver system uh, where the roof range will discharge into that pervious paver system. Um, both domestic and fire service uh, connections are shown here, connecting up to their respective mains uh, in Ocean Avenue, gas connection out in Ocean Avenue, and sewer connection um, out in o Ocean Avenue. Obviously, the, um, the, the garage parking underneath the building, more than six parking spaces per the Mass State Plumbing Code, um, has to be equipped with floor drains, which would discharge to a gas trap and into the uh, interior, into the sanitary sewer. It's been designed so that there's a ridge point at the back of the building, which is open. So at this ridge point, any flows flow away from the building here and they flows inside the building would pitch towards the inside of the building. So there's no chance of any rainwater or anything like that pitching in towards the building. It all pitches um, away from the building. Um, that's essentially the way the building and the utilities lay out. I think I'll just have uh, the architects just run through real quick the, the building design itself, and then we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Now, before you move on, Rick, okay. uh, let's talk about other permits required. Uh, you're going to need a Chapter 148 license. Correct. The fire department, the garage. You already went to CONCOM. Yep. Did you file for your DCR curb cut permit yet? Not yet. Okay. And your uh, uh, railroad right away? Yes. yes. Railroad so that's right awesome. away. I don't believe this parcel was ever actually owned by the railroad no, right away. adjacent to a railroad. So we're adjacent, to a real so adjacent yeah. but it has, yeah. to have been, it has to have been in the chain of title as owned by the railroad at one point to have to go after that hearing through EOTC. I, I don't believe we're subject the, to that. I think they received it anyway. That's for okay. I think they, they received Frank. Yeah, okay. I could double check. That was through uh, Dan Brosio Brown. 
Rick, can I just revisit the last uh, John, as it relates to the floor in the garage, you said it was going to be pitched so that nothing from outside can come into the garage? Correct. Okay. All right. Correct. So there's a ridge line here where all this pitch is away this way, and anything inside this garage floor will pitch. So everything will flow into the drains, obviously, inside the garage. Correct. Okay. Your, your exterior drain um, system, you're expecting that to be able to handle um, and infiltrate the full extent of the storm event? Yes. And that's 100 year? Yep. And, uh, and we'll, we'll submit, we did a full drainage. Obviously, we had to fully comply with the stormwater. Actually, we didn't have to fully comply with the stormwater management accounts because it is a redevelopment, it's 100% paved. But we viewed this as, we presented this project as fully complying, and it does fully comply with all the stormwater, DEP stormwater regs. And I will submit all that backup information to you. It's already been reviewed by the CONCOM, but we'll send it through to your office as well. And you have a stormwater management analysis and a drainage design and all that? Calcs? Yes. Okay. And O&M plan. Now, that's a core requirement of the, the ZBA variance. Each unit has to have, uh, including at least one parking spaces for each unit. For a fee or for free? No, <laughs> included in the lease. Okay. And where does the visitor park? The visitor parking is, is it's all part of, you know, the 75 spaces services the whole building, both visitors and folks that are living there. Right, so if there's 75 units, and each unit, has their own parking space. So how's someone else going to park in the parking space? The, either, either there'll be space available for them to park. If there's no space available to park, if there's that strange scenario that every single person is home and parked that day in the parking lot, then they'd have to park in the street. I mean, the visitors, the, as you'll hear when, when the architects talk, these units aren't very big units. So I don't see there being a ton of entertaining, you know, going on in these units. but. But the parking relief has already been established and been reviewed by the by the ZBA. ZBA. That's correct. Right. So it's already established. So there's no designated visitor parking at all. That is correct. That was the relief that was granted by the ZBA. Okay. Okay. okay, Rick. The breakdown of number of units. Uh, the architect is going to provide you that. Yeah. Number of bedrooms. Okay. Itself, um, as you know from the site plan, it's uh, largely parking on the uh, the ground floor with a lobby and stairs. The um, upper floors are um, a little bit out of sequence here. Sorry. Uh, <coughs> So this is a typical upper floor where we have um, two bedroom units on the ends and there's usually one other one and the rest are one bedroom or studios. We have a total of 24 two bedroom units um, and uh, six um, um, studios and the rest are all one bedroom units. Um, so that's what, 45. Um, and um, so that, that's the mix and it's, it's almost Uniformly on the floor, there's the, the real changes on in one of the upper floors. We end or the two of the upper floors, we end up with um, the um, the studios at, at the other end the, uh, the bedrooms. So that's that's the unit mix. Um, there's a um, let me go back to the building. In fact, let me the renderings. The one with the roof. 
sort of in terms of the character of the building. Um, it, there's a, um, a roof deck as well for so people can take advantage of, of the, uh, the views and things. In terms of the ground floor, it's um, or the ground plane. It's largely just you know landscape with general sort of areas for informal gathering. Um, and in the, what's concealing the parking is the um, we've got a mesh screen there um, where we thought we'd um, capture some of the um, sort of memories of, of the um, you know the um, 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 sort of fairground area, which I guess was a little further along. But uh, I did write as a child on the wild mouse, so I'm familiar with the with the area and that feel of the place and that from there. So we've just got these sort of silhouettes where, which are in a in a mesh. So essentially, I mean, this is out of scale, but essentially it'd be something like with different varying perforations that creates the graphic. I don't know whether you can see the way it, you know, depending upon the light and how you see it. So it's not a sort of literal image of that, but as you go by, you'll catch it. So in a way, it's more interesting than just having it, say, painted on a wall or something. Um, and then the landscaping, we've got a lot of um, the lighting. Oh, in fact, you can see the This is the, the idea. At night, we've got these um, you know, lights sort of set into the, uh, into the ground plane. So even as you're walking along here, there's a little bit of interest in, in that. And there's also glowing lights underneath some of these edges of these stone walls and things. So it's, it, the idea is to make this, for any pedestrians along there, a little bit of an animated uh, thing. So you're not just looking at cars in, in the uh, you know, through a screen or something. Um, what else? The, um, that's the main image. The materials themselves are largely, um, you know, cementitious uh, based um, <laughs> sidings. We've got, you know, a variety of sidings. Some look metallic, some are flat. So there's a lot of, uh, of variety and uh, animation. We've got some uh, root, um, sunscreens on the ends just to help to animate those parts of the building. And um, the, the vertical shot where the elevator is and where the entry is, 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 is you know, dominated as it, as it extends up to the uh, roof level and gives access to the, uh, to the roof deck. So that's the, so the character of the building and the number of units that were available. For so the majority of the exterior material is fiber cement? Yeah, of different, of different types and patterns, yes. To give it some Various color. colors or, or just? Well, you can, it's large. This, what you're seeing is the, pretty much the colors. It, it's the gray. blues and grays largely. Yeah. On mm -hmm. the back, we're also showing some red just where it's a flatter elevation, just to give it a little bit more animation at the bigger scale. And, and that screen mesh that you, uh, for the garage level, yeah. is that just black and white, or does that come in it's, colors? It, it's going to be, uh, well, we're, we're refining that still, but it'll be a, uh, this one is seen sort of goldish, but it'll be one material. And uh, although we're thinking, the, the idea is that the silhouette will be enough with the perforation, but we, we need to see a big mock-up, and then we'll decide. We want to make sure it, it has this kind of impact, both at day and night, so you can really nice. see it, and it's not just yeah. some situation. <coughs> Will there be a backing behind that? That's what we're... That's a face I, for I a graded area? I think you need a second one with some light yeah. behind, so you aren't looking at the cars through it, which is what yeah. we're... That's the concern right now. Yeah, I think if we have another mesh, a little further back and have light on that, then it, it, it'll have, it, we won't have this funny feeling of it being transparent, but rather that you're, you're looking at illuminated surface behind. In the garage level and first level, you're proposing brick. What type of brick? Sorry. Oh, it's um, it, I'm probably from something like an iron spot. It's it, uh, something with a little texture and, and uh, tone to it. But the, the mortar will be a similar tone, so it feels as this does as a, a fairly uniform surface and not as something that is, uh, you know, high contrast to print, sort of jumping out. And the first floor is only this portion of it on the front elevation is correct. The rest is, um, you know, fibrous in that. Part. All right. We'd like to see examples of the materials that you're going to use for the exterior of the building. And you come back and you know, just provide it to the, to the building inspector and myself and the rest yeah. of the committee. Okay, for sure. Did, did you guys consider condo on these? The, 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 the owner is not, no, they, the, right from the beginning they wanted to make it a rent, rental product. Is this 
Sorry, yes. is it wood construction? Wood construction, yeah. It, it's this type three construction. The exterior is, is uh, the um, you know the, uh, 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 it's a fire rated um, assembly, and then wood framing between. <clears throat> Any questions? Uh, questions for the architect? You're proposing a rooftop deck. Yes. Okay. Right. Didn't the original plan have a little cafe or something outside. It, it wasn't possible because they're in a hundred year flood plain. Right, right, so right. everything had to be can't elevated. Can't, you can't do it. You can't occupy the front. No. That's that, right. I mean, that was our intention. Yeah, and that was their intention. To to it. We're around elevation six. The flood plain is at elevation 12. Yeah, exactly. so that would mean that that cafe yeah. would have to be six feet up off the ground. Yeah. Which is going to happen. So, but, but the first floor, the way this works with the parking underneath, the first floor we're up at about elevation 19. So first floor mechanicals and all that stuff well outside yeah, of the yeah. and, 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 and we've also got the, the, the main electrical room and everything is, is up at that level. Right. This is, you know, it's designed so if, heaven forbid, we get this, you know, get in the, uh, one more hundred year storm in the next year, it'll, uh, <coughs> it, it, it'll flood but not. Uh, but, but you're right, there, there was a lot of back and forth, especially with the planning department, relative to the front facade of this building and giving some interest in trying to bring some retail there. Although it really isn't sort of a section of the beach that's sort of out of the pedestrian zone, uh, if you will, but um, unfortunately we couldn't do it because of the flood elevation. Yeah, I mean the architect did the best he could. We had a number of meetings to create a public place uh, along the front of the building and not have it as a standalone private building, part of the connection with the public's realm. So you did a good job with that, and the landscaping is, we worked on that, and it's significant, yeah. and it would uh, enhance the building. Uh, Frank, Frank. Yeah. Is that seating outside? Yes. yes. Yeah, that, that's, so, that's what the car from So they could have a seasonal vendor set up there. That, that was the idea, to have pop-ups Potentially in the summertime, right. you know. So, so is that yeah. part of this? It, it, it's the, not it's, required. It's no, it's not required. Made, the area is reserved for that. It's hard to control and to, to, to run economically. But the, uh, that was one of the reasons why we have so much large <coughs> area here. So it's they did activate the sidewalk. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, so to that point, so should, that, should that opportunity arise, it's set up for it. Right. There's seat walls there, right. there's outdoor seating, and there's room for it. So if they can find a vendor that would want to do something there during this during the summertime, and there's enough critical mass, absolutely it, it would fit right in mm -hmm. and plug right in. We just couldn't commit to it just not knowing what we're going to have for pedestrian traffic and whether that need would ever actually arise. Uh, okay. Uh, Rick, <coughs> so you're, you're familiar with our SOAR improvement uh, fund and Correct. mitigation fund. so. The, the total number, you know, you know what the formula is, total yeah. number of units times 10 times $1.30 a gallon. Uh, and this project is also subject to the Community Improvement Trust Fund because uh, of the extra units that are being added. So, and that gets calculated basically off the, so we just go through the parking demand, see how many units would be allowed by right with that parking demand. That's right. And then whatever is extra. 3% of the construction the costs of, of okay. the extra units. That'll all be in the site plan review letter report any questions you guys on soil and water uh, currently, currently the uh, water and sewer has been capped at the property line so before the project moves forward they will have to bring it back to uh, the mains yeah I think the notes on the plan said they have to be ca capped at the main one and, re and, and re-brought back in, in. Yeah. Yeah. We, we weren't sure exactly how they would come obviously if they can use the same trenches coming in that would you know that was one of the big concerns with dcr because it is a dcr controlled roadway but right. the infrastructure was ours so that's the reason they allowed to cap it at the uh, at the property lines but that has to go back to the mains before they can move forward with uh, bringing the new infrastructure in. okay. is there details here for the cut and the cap uh, no. Okay. We can certainly add that. Yep. Uh, so lighting, there's another question. In, uh, in that act, uh, active zone, which is going to be pedestrian friendly. Which, okay, where's this? It's on the lighting. So 
ornamental light poles. All ornamental light poles. Do you show those? No, we, 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 uh, we, aren't, uh, we don't actually have any of those shown. We, we could certainly have. The idea was that there'd be enough illumination from all this, the low lighting rather than creating uh, lighting from the top. Okay, we'll take a look at that and see if that's sufficient enough. I mean, that's going to be an active area at night, so we may we, 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 want we some ornamental certainly. light yeah. pulse there. Yeah. The above head lighting. Balconies? Yeah. <coughs> oh, yes. Yeah, these, these are all, um, they're, they're made out of aluminum, and they're, they're pre, pre assembled, pre made. They, they actually bolt on, and there's this, we got a special attachment system. They only project about 18 inches, so it's enough to go out there and stand there, but not really right for you know barbecuing and all that other stuff. Yeah, right, exactly. But but they they, 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 they they're not flat on the surface. They're a little more. You can actually step on. 18 inches. Yeah, yeah. it's a little more than. Yeah. So and we have sliders. That gives, that so gives a little. It gives it a little depth. Yeah. And and you can bring a chair and be, you know. At least half in and half out, and feel as though you're on a balcony. I think I'm more than 18 inches wide at this point. So I don't I don't you can't be that. Okay. Any other questions? No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll have further discussion regarding, you know, the final landscaping, the lighting, and, and the color materials for the building. Package to your office. Okay. Can you that new Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do we have next, Mike? Probably, yeah. Five Washington. I'm sorry. Uh, Forty-nine Revere Beach Boulevard. Forty-nine Revere Beach Boulevard. Uh, Michael Lee with JBX Developers. Oh my God. Site plan. We're in the process of working with GCR to work out the details of the curb cut. Yeah, um, I have a little loud <laughs> I don't know if you I don't want to tell you that. You guys will set uh, put in the required bump outs by the architectural review board. Crosswalks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I know. We keep putting it into the system. It keeps cutting it out. I think we got it resolved again. But we put in the system 50, it bumps us out and doesn't allow us to submit for the permit. Okay. Right. So we're still waiting on GCR approval for the, uh, the bump out and crosswalk plan. We're in negotiation. Yes, okay. Okay. All right, Michael, why don't you give the, uh, the board just a rundown of the Summary of the project. Uh, 175 unit uh, hotel, nine stories, um, partial underground parking, approximately two stories. Um, Total number of parking spaces? 128 parking spaces. Um, all valet parking. This project uh, was subject to a special permit from the city council and was approved by the council. Uh, do you have a copy of the special permit? Yep. Thank you. No. No, you can have that one. Also, Michael, the uh, Review Beach Design Review Board, do you have their final approval or the plan that they approved? Um, I think this is the plan they approved, and DCR is asking us to move the planters back a little bit. Okay. Um, so once we do that, we'll go back before them and get their approval again. 
but they're asking that these planters be moved back about three and a half feet so that you can open a car door without hitting the car. Right. We'll have to see their letter if there was anything else in there that's specific to the design that has to be held throughout when we review the plans. So if anything's deviated from what was submitted to the design review board, it will have to be right. reviewed by us and go back to that. Right. We're just going to try, we're trying to get everybody on the same page to make a final decision as to what Every time we go before the different board, everybody has a different suggestion, then we change the plans, right. and then Architectural Review Board says yes or no, and then DCR says no, and then... So we keep going back and forth. And so we're trying to get DCR to make a final decision as what exactly they want, and we'll allow. We'll make a final drawing, yeah. and submit it to everybody for approval. Fine, fine. Uh, there's a uh, proposed restaurant in, included in the right. building. And how many seats? I think 80. It's just uh, it's no, it's a designated space. We haven't, yeah. we haven't contracted with anybody for the restaurant. Um, right now it's just going to be an open space to be leased at a later date. So you don't have any floor plans there? I don't see any. No, no just mostly site plan. Oh. Is it parking for the restaurant? Uh, it's part of the normal parking. It's all valet. <coughs> yeah, everything's going to be valet. Uh, they'll valet in front. For the zoning board approvals. Yeah, right. We did our preliminary review before the City Council issued the special permit. We issued our conditions to the City Council. Those conditions are going to remain the same, uh, subject to some variations due to the DCR comments on the, on the curb cut and the uh, construction of walkway, uh, crosswalks and bump outs. This project also is subject to the Community Improvement Trust Fund, and it's also subject to a sewer mitigation fee, uh, which has been explained to, to Michael Lee, the right. project manager. It was included in the City Council Special Permit. So this building is in the, uh, also our creative district, and the architect is Incorporated some art design on, on Ocean Avenue with lighting. Um, if you look at the plans, you'll see it back. Did you pass those out? All right. Yeah, yeah, I just have this one. Yeah. Pass that around. And balconies. That's a stone facade. Is this animated? Is that has a curved front? That's on animated, right? Pardon? That's a, no, like a mural. No, just a sidewalk. It's just no. Just on that first level. Per All se. access and egress is off Ocean Avenue. One driveway opening on Ocean Avenue, correct, Michael? Um, oh, there's another one for the. Uh, there's another one. There's an in, ingress. That's for service. Ingress. Yeah. For service vehicles. Right. How many stories is there? Nine. Nine, Nine stories. stories. <clears throat> Is the architect here, Mike? No. no. But the building material is basically stone, stone, yeah, porcelain, and glass. Porcelain, stone, and glass. Right. There you go. We, if we can afford to build it. Yeah. Well, 
I'll see that's, that's, that's for you to uh, work to keep, out with your architect. I'm trying to keep the architect under control. Yeah, you yeah. always do. Yeah. What's that? Is that a sign? Or the, uh... Yeah, that's, that's a sign for it. Yep. There's another building going right here, so I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <clears throat> And they've, uh, yeah. they've oh, selected that. a brand name, Wyndham Hotels. Wyndham yeah. is the brand name? It's a brand name, yeah. Okay. So they're fairly low key in their signage, fairly independent. Okay. What does your schedule look like for when would you like to start construction? Uh, we're waiting for building permit now, so we'd like to start this spring. Filed for conservation commission approval yet? Obviously, you have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we'll need a copy of the order of conditions from the conservation okay. commission. Uh, you could submit that when, when you file for the building permit. Order of condition. File this with the, the whole package. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I think they partially submitted some stuff online. Yes, yeah. we're, we're, we're in e permitting now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going through the e permitting. E permitting only has a, has a limit. I understand. To I think they, yeah. they think they broke it down to a couple of different files, though. Right. Yeah, so we, we do have that uh, inputted. And once we get the final site plan review letter, we'll proceed with the plan review. Okay, calm, calm, order conditions recorded. You'll receive a site plan review report letter, Mike. We'll, we'll outline everything that you have to submit. Okay. And sign offs, obviously, from the fire department. I don't know if you've submitted the plans for fire department review and, Just and approved. The website. Okay. So, what Three. has the Revere Beach Design Review Board, what have they not approved on the elevation? Or have they approved the they elevation? Approved the oh, they have. Okay. Yeah, everything is approved. Okay. As submitted. Just that if we start to make too many changes through um, the state, then we have to because modify these, yeah. plan and, okay. and, and let them know what changes we I just made. want to co coordinate what you submitted is what actually has been approved. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It's been approved. Yeah. It's got to be. Yeah. 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 If DCR starts making changes, then we have to change the plan and go back to them and say, Good this luck. is what we changed. <laughs> Uh, where do they show the? Where do you have your grease uh, interceptor it's trap? Be in, uh, inside the building somewhere. <clears throat> right, who wanted the bump up? Design review board. Design review board. The Bear Beach Design Review Board. Well, that's one of the things DCR is looking at. Right. <laughs> They're going to maintain the cutout. So we're still plowing down to a. So DCR has a sidewalk, and then you have the street. No, the no. These these prohibit the plow. From, that's why the DCR frowns on that. Yeah, we also have planters on the sidewalk too, man. but. One department wants it, the other department doesn't. So oh, the it. department that wants the planters the one out. Yeah. How much space is in between the back of the planter to the? How wide is that? About about ten feet. Yeah, so that's plenty to make an open pad for snow. Right. It is. I mean, the streetscape improvements and pedestrian safety were the key issues for All us. Right. For this, it's going to be a very uh, active hotel presence and a lot of pedestrian activity drop off people in 
people crossing the, the boulevard. So those bump outs are the necessary pedestrian walks. safety measure. Pedestrian lights. Yeah. <clears throat> Anything else? You guys all set? Okay. Yeah, Thanks, this gentlemen. is pretty much been through the ringer, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost there. <laughs> Gas separated there as well. Yes. A, a gas. Uh, oh yeah. Well, yeah. Oil, so separated. Yeah. <coughs> grease shot. <coughs> no, not a grease gas, shot. Gas. Gas separated. Separate. Yeah. But this fills gonna be two devices: the grease interceptor and the gas oil separate. Correct. We asked for a hydrant flow test on, on Ocean Avenue. Yeah, we've done that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, have you have that submitted to you? Uh, I think I do. Yeah. There was an issue with the original, so it is, we don't have to do Again, water, sewer, drain plans will be reviewed by you guys. All right, Michael, we're all set. Okay. We have everything we much. need from you. Okay. Talk to you soon. Yep. Is that it, Mike? That's it. This meeting is adjourned. <laughs>